Let me take a little time to explain to you how the compilation actually happens. The most usual way to compile a program is to take all the CPP files, compile them into an intermediate.obj file, and then link them together into the executable. So we have all these different files compiled separately. However, today a lot of people are trying what's called a unity build. It's so when you include one file to the other, instead of compiling them separately, and then you just send one huge file to the compiler, and you can do in one run the compilation and then the linking. That's what we're going to do. Not only makes it easier for the files to see one another, but it also makes compilation really faster. So I'm going to include the renderer file up here, and this includes just copy the code from the renderer file to this file. But now we don't need to compile the render because it's already included on the Win32 platform.cpp. So I'm going to right-click the file, choose Properties, and select Exclude from Build. I'm going to include the render after we declare the global render state so that the render file can use it. Okay, we're back to normal. 